In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an ad for your book on Amazon. I'm going to create an ad for my new Q4 planner for low content book publishers. So to start off with, I'm going to go with the sponsored product type ad. The difference is the lock screen ads are the ads that show up on the Kindle lock screen. Um, those ads are not going to be what you want to go with for paperback books. The sponsored brands are, you can group together a collection of your books under the same pin name and run an ad for more than one book. But for this, I'm just going to do the one book. So we're going to click on sponsored products. The first thing you want to do is give your campaign a name. This could be anything you want it to be. I'm just going to call it Q4 Planner since that's the ads for my Q4 Planner. You can organize your campaigns by portfolio if you want. That's so you can group them together, maybe by pin name or whatever you want to organize, however you want to organize them that makes sense to you. For the start date, I'm going to go ahead and go with today. I'm going to leave it as no end date. Uh, I do that because I like to go to leave my ads running all the time and I just go in and modify them as I go along. And I like a low daily budget. I always go with $5 and I always go with manual targeting. That way you can choose your keywords that you want to target. Amazon offers three different campaign bid strategies. Dynamic bids down only, dynamic bids up and down, and fixed bids. I always go with the dynamic bids down only. With this strategy, you'll never pay more than your bid amount and sometimes you're going to pay less. With dynamic bids up and down, sometimes you can end up paying as much as twice your bid amount and fixed bids you always pay exactly what you set for your bid amount. I recommend you use the custom text so that you have another opportunity to speak to your target audience through the text that you put in your ad. Then you need to pick what books you want to advertise. In this case, I'm doing my planner. I have both a paperback and a hardcover version. So I'm gonna add both of those here to advertise with this ad. I am gonna pick keyword targeting because I wanna be able to put my own keywords. And then I always wanna go with my default bid because I want to control how much my bid is. So I like to use 31 cents. The reason I do that is that most people will use a number that ends in either zero or five, and that by adding that one cent, my bid's gonna beat out all the other people that put 30 cents down. And then you have three different options here, broad, phrase, or exact. I recommend that you go with broad. The reason I do that is because it's the least restrictive match type. So if all the keywords are in someone's search, it's gonna match to that ad. If you do the phrase match type, it will only match if the words are in the exact same order. And if you do an exact match, it will only match if every word that you have in your list is in the search list, is in the search words that were typed in Amazon by the people doing a search. Okay, so I have this list here that Amazon recommends. So I'm going to go through the list and add the ones that I think are relevant. All right, so. Those are all the ones that I like from the ones that they've suggested. But now I can enter my own list. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to bring up Publisher Rocket. And I'm going to do an AMS keyword search. So the first one I'm going to do is low content publishing. All right, so now I'm going to scan through this and make sure that these are all relevant. Okay, like diagnostics, this one definitely isn't relevant. Okay, now that I've gone through the whole list and picked out the ones that I want, I click on export. We'll save it. And now I can just cut and paste all of those keywords into my ad. And then you just say, add keywords. Now they've all been added into here. 
And now I can keep doing this and add more if I want. So let's do another search. Maybe a little content planning. And go through here and delete the ones that don't apply. And now that I have the ones I want from this list, we'll again hit export. We'll copy these over. And add them in. And you can keep doing this until you run out of ideas for, for keyword searches that are relevant to your campaign here. So after you've added in all the keywords that you want to add in, the next thing you want to do is go down here and put in your custom text. So I'm just going to cut and paste text that I have for this. One of the things to keep in mind is that you want to, um, when you're writing your custom text, write directly to the people. So I'm t t using the word you here to say, you need to get this because you need to maximize your profit. So I'm telling them the benefits and I'm giving them a call to action. Get this book and start planning now. So I'm speaking directly to them. I'm telling them why they should do it and I'm giving them a call to action. So if you can add that stuff into your text, it's going to help to get people to click on your ad and get you more, more sales. So Amazon will give you this nice little preview here that shows you what your ad's going to look like. Now that I have everything I want in my ad, I am ready to click Launch Campaign. So now Amazon will review my campaign and I'll get an email letting me know when it goes live. I hope this has been helpful and has shown you how easy it is to run ads on Amazon.